Hey what's up guys back with other video and it's been a long time that I've posted anything so I thought to myself how to start restart my channel and how it can be better than starting it with a brand new gaming series so this over here is emergency HQ I feel that HQ stands for the headquarter at my best so this is our headquarter I'm gonna go through the game just a little bit so that you have an idea what we're going through and what we're dealing with it basically gives us different missions as you can see the red button at the bottom left corner and over here if I click there are four accidents for example plane accident or uh, traffic accident or a maybe animal bite and a building fire so there are different scenarios which we need to deal as an emergency situation and this headquarter gives us all those missions and over here we have different types of vehicles so that we can complete the missions so starting off with this corner we have the fire trucks then we have the ambulance the mobile train and the canine unit over here then we have water tender over here we have police cars then emergency dock and the tow truck so and the this big building in front of the headquarters is basically the training center where we can increase the level of different units for example over here as you can see water tender is construction stage one but over here the tow truck one is construction stage two so one interesting thing about this game is that as in when you increase the level of a corresponding building a corresponding unit not the training one but the level of the building itself not the level of the unit sorry my bad but if you increase the level of this building itself because you have to increase the level of unit using the training one but if you increase the level of building then you basically increase the number of you can say the vehicles which it can have so right now as you can see on level one it has only one water tender but if i increase it it says that in unlocks it increases plus one water tender so it basically increases the number of water tenders so uh, over here as you can see i am on construction stage three of my headquarters and i'm on level 10 on the top left corner as you can see on my profile i'm on level 10 so as in when i increase my level from 10 to 11 12 and correspondingly I can unlock different levels of the headquarters after increasing the level of headquarters I'll have different missions which require a higher unit level so I have to increase the level of unit using the training center but maybe at one spot one fire truck is not enough I need two of them or I need three of them so I need to increase the level of building also so that they can hold maximum fire trucks and I can I can basically call as many fire trucks as required so right now as you can see we have different scenarios which take different type of machinery and different type of units in them for basically as you can see fi building fire i require mostly all the units from police i don't even have one unit as you can see portable crane so i can't do this mission but as you can see it requires mostly all the units which i have except the K9 one and the tow truck one over here if i talk about the construction site then it requires only police emergency dock ambulance and mobile crane so different scenarios which you need to deal and it gives us different prizes so right now what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna play one scenario and slowly and steadily we're gonna go through this game and it's been a fun game it's just that there are few things which i don't like one of them is the way this ambulance interacts in the game so i'm gonna go through this thing also and i'm gonna show you exactly what i don't like but first let's start off with the gaming gaming of this video and let's start off with a random mission let's go with the maximum unit so i can't do the snowflake one and you no know, i can actually do the snowflake one but i cannot i cannot do this building fire one and there's a construction one so let's start off with the construction but, but because it requires four units out of eight which i have 
but this one over here animal bite and zoo it requires only two so i'm gonna go with the construction one and let's start off with this all right guys so let's go for this one so i'm gonna deploy all the units and there's another thing as you can see in the repetition bar over there over this mission it's just one third fill so the missions basically repeat themselves and if you do the mission for the third time you basically get three times all the rewards so here we have accidents attracted rubbernecks police officers can send onlookers away so i'm gonna get one police officer one dog in ambulance and i don't think all right so i also need a crane so i'm gonna get one crane also so let's wait for all the units over here i have actually all the units so i'm gonna get emergency dog on this one and i'm gonna select the police officer and send the onlookers as you can see away so he's gonna go he can arrest or send the onlookers away so here's the police coming and he's sending slowly i'm also gonna start with the operation of the crane so that the person beneath these wooden planks can be rescued and as you can see guys dogs take a lot of time and we have four casualties so i'm gonna get another emergency dog on the side on the scenario whatever you're gonna say and i'm gonna get it on another person and as you can see this dog is completed so i'm gonna send it on the third one mobile train is ready i'm gonna get it first let's start off with the paramedic team so i'm gonna get this person which we have just completed from the emergency dock into the ambulance so it can be sent to the nearest hospital so this person is gonna go to the nearest hospital now what i don't like about the ambulance is that if you send the paramedic team they pick up the person injured person and take, the, take it to the ambulance now you have to command the ambulance also to go to the hospital which I think is not necessary because if I'm sending a person into the ambulance it's obvious that he has to go to the hospital it's not with the you know other units like tow truck or any other unit but it is with ambulance and I don't know why so I'm gonna send this onlooker first away then only I can operate the crane on this person which is under the rock so I'm gonna send again the paramedic team on the second portion which was just completed by the emergency dock. So guys you can see that it's more like a management game and not really like you're holding the fire hose and getting the fire out of the building or you're basically operating the crane and pulling the rock out. It's not like that. It's more like the management game and it's fine because having eight units just on stage level three construction level three of headquarters i think that i'm gonna unlock a lot of more units so it's not possible for a mobile game mobile game to operate that much and i don't think that even we'll be able to handle that much and i really like this game basically because it gives us most of the things except the fact that you have to click on the ambulance as in when it completes the paramedic team completes the job like for example if I send the tow truck to tow a rigged car then it will just go and come take its time to lift the car onto it and then everything it can it has to do and then I don't have to click on the tow truck to order it to go to the you know dropping zone it does it automatically now if the ambulance has the capacity of only one injured person then it should go automatically after receiving an injured person in it I don't have to order it again and again to go to the nearest hospital I mean that's obvious to me that 
it has to go so this is the last and the fourth casualty which we're dealing with and then the mission will be over so i'm gonna send the crane back to the parking spot and even the police officer there we go guys so our mission is completed as you can see so here's a short gameplay of what the game is gonna be and I really like this game if you haven't tried this game you can try this game it's completely free and it is publicly open on all the platforms from where you can download and it is a fun game you should try this game and just out of curiosity if you're curious about what's over here then it's just if you want to have more emeralds which is a paid currency in this game then you can click on it and it will basically uh, give you a short video after watching it you can have two emeralds so i what i do is that when i open the game i watch a video so it gives me two emeralds and then after completing all the missions i there is a 15 minutes timer so it takes 15 minutes to get again a second video so 15 minutes are more than enough to complete all the four missions which are over here and then after that i again watch this so that was a small gameplay i hope you like enjoyed this video guys if you want to watch or if you want me to play any specific game let me know in the comments down below Hope you have a healthy and a fantastic day and guys, happy new year and have a healthy and a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video.